Tools and Equipment Used in Refrigeration System Introduction Some of the tools illustrated here are used mostly for commercial works and are also found in domestic refrigeration and air conditioning servicing. Careless repair procedures are dangerous and should not be tolerated in any service work. Property chosen and correctly used tools will not only to save time, but will also ensure neat, dependable, and satisfactory job that will result in mutual benefits to the service technician and customer alike. Tools and Equipment 1. Fundamental Tools Wrenches, Screwdriver, Pliers 2. Tube Processing Tools Tube Cutter, Flaring Tools, Swagging Tools, Bending Tools 3. Vacuuming and Charging Station Vacuum Pump charging station, refrigeration cylinders, or other related tools and items. 5. Electrical test meter, voltmeter, wattmeter, ohmmi, megger, ammeter. 6. Mechanical testing tools, gauge manifold, thermometer, test kits. 7. Refrigeration materials, copper and aluminum tube and refrigerants, refrigeration oil. 8. If ever needed, refrigeration trainers. What is manifold gauge? A manifold gauge is a pressure checking system. They are one of the most basic HVAC tools and can be used as both a diagnostic and service tools. In diagnostics, a manifold gauge tells an HVAC technician if the system is operating correctly or if there is a problem within the system that needs to be addressed. When used as a service tool, a manifold gauge can be used to release moisture and sludge and remove contaminated refrigerants from the system. The basic parts of a standard manifold gauge include 1. Low pressure valve 2. High pressure valve 3. Low pressure gauge blue 4. High pressure gauge red 5. Low pressure hose blue 6. High pressure hose red 7. Center hose yellow For centerpiece manifold 2. Tube Cutter A tube cutter is a tool which allows the user to cut through plastic tubing, often used by HVAC, electricians, and plumbers. They are available in a number of different styles, but all have a sharp blade which slices through the tubing. 3. Flaring Tools Flaring tools use pressure to make a fabricated mechanical joint for joining or sealing copper tubing with a flare connection. Flaring allows you to connect tubes to each other or another kind of fitting. 4. Swagging tools. Swagged ends tend to have a cylindrical shape. The types of swagging tools for copper pipe include spike-shaped punch tools, manual tube expanders, and feed screw tools comparable to flaring bars. Often a flaring tool kit will come with swagging bits or die blocks to convert a flaring bar into a swagging bar. Difference between flaring and swagging. Flared and swag. 5. Pinch off tool. The Hilmer locking pliers pinch off tool pinches off and locks onto tubing, leaving both hands free to do other work. Made from high-grade heat-treated alloy steel, this tool is built to handle whatever you throw at it. 6. Tube Bending Tools A pipe bender is a tool used to bend piping of different materials, such as copper and stainless steel, to form various angles and curves. Most tubes, though, are bent one of four ways. Ram-type bending, roll bending, compression bending, or rotary draw bending. Different types of tube benders for HVAC user. Spring Tube Benders Lever type tube benders. Spring tube bender used for use to bend soft copper, aluminum, or stainless steel tubing. Lever type tube benders for bending soft copper, aluminum brass, steel, stainless steel, and other tubing. 7. Vacuum pump. A vacuum pump is a device that draws gas molecules from a sealed volume in order to leave behind a partial vacuum. The job of a vacuum pump is to generate a relative vacuum within a capacity. The vacuum pump function by removing the molecules of air and other gases from the vacuum chamber. 8. Refrigerant Charging Station 
Refrigerant charging refers to the replenishment of these gases when system repairs or leaks have caused depleted levels. Refrigerant charging may be carried out bulk refrigerant containers kits and weigh scale which generally only hold enough liquid or gas for one charge. 9. Refrigerant Cylinder a refrigerant tank is any vessel used to store or transport gaseous or liquid refrigerant. These tanks can be found in a wide variety of applications, including air conditioning service and installation, food storage, ice skating facilities, and even in automobiles. Different types of refrigerant cylinders. 10. Refrigeration Service Tools Electrical Meter Multimeter and clamp meter. For more information on electrical meter, visit to this video. Thanks. 11. Refrigeration copper tubing. Hardened copper tubing is used for water lines, commercial refrigeration, and HVAC. This type of tubing is joined using grooved, compression, crimped, or sweat connections. The runs are mostly straight, except where it must be bent to go around construction. Elbow fittings are used to make the bend. 12. Refrigeration oil. Where the refrigerant is essential for the cooling properties of a refrigeration system, the refrigeration oil is crucial for the correct functioning of the compressor. Lubricants for refrigeration compressors reduce friction, prevent wear, and act as a seal between the high and low pressure sides. Refrigerant oil types. Non-ozone depleting green refrigerants, R22 replacements existing units, R22 and R502. Exiting units, R22 and R410 and new units. The type of oil for a specific compressor depends on the refrigerant used in the system. Compatibility of lubricant oil with refrigerants. Refrigerant, HECFC, R22. R401A, B, R402A, B, R403B, R408AB, and R409A, B. Mineral oil, HFC, R134A, R404A, R407CF, R410A, and R507A. Polyester oil. That's all. Thanks for watching.